Hey guys, it's Lydia from LE3D Printing, and today I'm going to be printing a giant printing press out of all my color fulfillment. So, let's get started. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for coming here, and please subscribe and hit that like button down below if you do like this video. So, a while ago, my, my sister found a uh, 3D printing press, or just a printing press that you could 3D print, a miniature one on uh, online, and I found it on Thingiverse. So I actually printed it for her in just 100% scale, and it was really tiny, and she actually couldn't use it because it was so small. So today I decided to scale it up 140% and print it on every single one of my printers. All of my printers have printed at least one piece of this um, printing press on it, and I've used multiple colors um, by multiple companies. Uh, they're all PLA, but they're all very colorful. Um, and I think the longest hour print it is taking right now on my Tigo Tornado is uh, I think 17 hours for the two sides of the actual printing press. They are black and everything else looks really cool. I printed it in purple, um, red, white, silver, and then my black. So I think when I put everything together it will look really cool. Um, I actually videoed a little bit of them printing and just did a couple time lapses. Uh, the time lapses are a little shorter and there isn't much to see on there because um, the, the printing process actually is a long time, like they all took a lot, long time to print. Uh, but I think they all turned out really cool and I hope you guys liked the video. So I'll show you guys uh, the printing process and then we can build it and put it together. Alright guys, so I finally put it all together. I think it turned out really nice. Now, um, the, the only problem for me um, is the is this side. This um, first layer wasn't the greatest, but the other side actually looks a lot better. Um, other than that, I think it looks really cool and it turned out really great in my opinion. Um, I like all the colors together and it definitely works. So basically, um, you just slip in this and you can also pull it all the way out too. Um, but it actually uh, is not completely done because you have to add some nuts and bolts uh, or a bolt and a nut underneath here so that you can um, raise and lower this. I will leave in the description below uh, the link to where you can download this and there's lots of pictures on there to uh, show you what it looks like when it's finished and what it can do. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this uh, print. I think it looked really cool. Um, so let's go on and end the video. 
All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I honestly, again, think this turned out really amazing, um, especially because it is 140% scale. I did, again, print the 100% scale, and it was actually super tiny, but I think that's the whole purpose of it. Uh, but I think it's really cool when it's bigger, and maybe one day I will print a 200% scale, which will definitely be giant. Um, for now, I just wanted a little one just to show you guys what it is and a cool little print on Thingiverse. Don't forget, again, it will be in the description below, the link to download it from Thingiverse. Um, so thank you to the guy who designed it. Um, I think it's really cool and awesome to print. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, thank you so much. And if you are still here at the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. And don't forget to go down and subscribe to my channel and like the video. If you do not like the video, please let me know why. Uh, and if you have any suggestions for new videos, please let me know. I definitely want to know what you guys want to see. Um, again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.